Hi, I'm Angela Walters from Quilting Is My Therapy, and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to quilt the tiles design. This design is not only a great way to break up bigger areas, but allows you to combine straight lines and curvy quilting to create an awesome secondary effect. I'm gonna show you how to quilt it on a sewing machine and a long arm and give you some practical tips on where to use it. So, let's get to it. This video tutorial is actually a part of the Fillers Free Motion Challenge Quilting Along. So to check out all the other great videos in this series, as well as to learn how to get the custom panel I designed for the challenge, or free quilting diagrams, just click the link in the description box below. The tiles design is a great way to combine straight lines with a filler design to create interest in secondary patterns on your quilt. Plus, it's just a lot of fun to quilt. Basically, I'm taking a bigger area and I'm breaking it up into chunks, filling it in, and moving on and the result is gonna be a design that looks amazing. So starting from one of the edges of my area, I'm gonna create my first section by quilting a couple lines that are gonna end on the other side. There can be two lines, there can be five lines, it doesn't matter, I just need a closed off space to fill in. And once I have my area, I'm gonna fill it in with the design of my choice. But I'm gonna to try to work my way back to the starting point, if possible. And really, you could choose any filler design that you feel comfortable quilting. I just happen to like swirls, so that's the one I'm going with. And once I have that area filled in and I've hopefully ended up at my starting point, it's time to echo those lines a couple times. So to do that, I'm going to travel along the edge and then echo. Echoing is just going to help separate that filler from the other tiles, really helping those individual bits stand out. I like to make the echoing slightly larger than the design I'm putting in that tile. So if this is about a quarter inch spacing, I'm gonna make my echoing about a half inch or so. But once I have it echoed, it's time to quilt my next section. And again, remember, it can be any size, it can be any shape, it just needs to be closed off. Whether you're running into a previous tile or the edge of your area. So if I'm looking here, I can just add another section by quilting my lines that kind of come out and touch somewhere. Now, as you're quilting your tiles, you could either freehand those straight lines or you could use a ruler if you prefer. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna show what that looks like with the ruler. Then once I have my next space established, it's time to fill it in. I can either use the same filler as before or I could switch it up. And once I end at that other side where I started, I'm gonna travel and echo, just like I did previously. Then, from there, I'm gonna repeat, quilting another section and filling it in. I think it's a lot of fun to quilt different fillers in each of my tiles, so I like to mix it up. It's a great way to practice new designs without committing to a bigger area, plus it just adds additional interest to your quilt. However, using the same filler is still gonna look just as good. And again, I'm trying to end at that original starting point. If you happen to find yourself in the center of the tile or somewhere else you don't want to be, you can use traveling to get to that point, or you can just tie off and start a new line of quilting. And I'm going to quilt another tile and fill it in. The thing about this design is you're not usually going to know exactly what the finished product is going to look like. I don't mind just winging it as I go, but I know some quilters really struggle with that. But trust me, it's going to be fine. Just quilt your sections and fill them in. Now what's really fun about this design is you can echo previously quilted tiles to help move your way around the area, just like we've seen with previous free motion fillers. If I get to a point in my quilting where there's not enough space to really add another tile, I can just use a filler to fill in the rest of that area and then be done with it. And when you're done, you have that cool secondary effect with lots of different fillers that's gonna add interest to bigger areas of your quilt. Well, now that you've seen how to do this on a sewing machine, let's see how the design comes together on a long arm. I'm also gonna share some additional tips for helping you maneuver your way through the area. Now on the long arm, I'm gonna go about this design the same exact way, quilting my section and filling it in. The main difference is I'm always gonna use a ruler when I'm quilting my straight lines, since some of them are diagonal and I don't do so great quilting diagonal lines without a ruler. And as I'm filling in my section, I'm trying to end at my original starting point, traveling along the edge, and then adding my echo lines. Then, from that point, quilting another section and filling it in. This is such a great opportunity to experiment with different fillers, 
So I love changing up the design that I put in my tiles. But no matter what design you use to put in them, once you end up back at the starting point, you're going to travel and echo. Now sometimes if you want, you can echo it twice. So here I'm echoing it a second time. That's just going to help separate it from the rest of the design. But as you're filling in your area with those tiles, there's going to be times that you're not going to have room to add another tile. You're going to be kind of stuck. So I'm going to use a filler to help get me unstuck. From that point, I'm going to start quilting my filler until I get to a point where I know I can add some more lines. Then I'm going to run my quilting into the edge and then define my section by quilting those straight lines. And fill in the rest of the area with the filler design. Getting to my starting point, traveling, and echoing. And if I ever get to a point where I don't have quite enough room to add a tile, I can just quilt a straight line. Like I said earlier, the tile doesn't have to be any certain shape. It doesn't have to be any certain size. I just want to create a space to fill in. And as you're using this design on your quilts, you can really change up the scale of it. Try quilting those lines close together to give yourself a dense filler or spread them out like I have here for a less dense, softer option. As I'm quilting my tiles, I can also use echoing to maneuver my way around the area. So if I find myself on one side, I could just echo outside all the tiles I've quilted to get to that next point and then branch off from there, quilting my tile and filling it in. Now as you're quilting your tiles, quilting them bigger will result in less echo lines and more filler, but quilting the tiles on the smaller side will have the opposite effect with less filler and more echo lines. Neither one of them are wrong, it just depends on what you feel more comfortable quilting. But whether you make big tiles, little tiles, irregular shaped tiles, or square tiles, it's definitely going to look great on your quilt. So what do you think about the tiles design? Is this something you think you'll use on your quilts? Leave a comment letting me know what you think. And I'll be back soon with another video tutorial. Until then, everyone, happy, happy quilting.